what's up guys welcome back to the channel in today's video we're going to do a little breakdown of how i do my speed training to swing the speed i do in the off season and to see if you guys can do anything to pick up speed so you guys can hit big high nasty bombs so let's get to it So guys, what we're going to do, I'm going to show you how I do a little bit of speed training. I don't do a lot because most of my speed training is done when I'm hitting golf balls. I prefer to do speed training and hitting the ball rather than just swinging and not making contact with everything. But I do add a few certain things into a routine just so I can get my body firing to allow me to swing the speed I do. So what we're going to start with is, we're just going to start off with the yellow tempo trainer, whatever you want to call it. It's the skills, gold, flex. This is at 48 inches because obviously I want to be swinging a 48 inch driver to mimic my long drive driver. So all I do with this to start with is obviously it's very, very flexible. It's weighted at one end. This isn't to do with any speed training. This is just to allow my body to warm up, which I think is a massive part when it comes to swinging fast because you want your muscles to be warm, ready to explode. We don't want to be static and cold because that's the worst thing our body can do. So all I would do to start with is remove this. So all I do to start with is just swing and allow the weight of the club to take us back and through. Don't worry about how, as you, well, as you can see with them swings there, my right foot was following through. You don't need to be stuck in golf posture to do this. We're just trying to move the body to get the muscles firing. So what I'd usually do would be, I'd swing this five times, right-handed as you've just seen. And then the fun part would be, I'd try and swing left-handed and do the exact same thing. So five times left-handed, just allow the weight of the club to take us through. What do you think of this left-handed golf swing? Right, so normally, as you can see it gets quite tiring it's not easy when you're trying to swing like you are it gets the heart rate up but it warms the body up and it's winter as well so it's not a bad thing but usually what i do is i do five right-handed five left-handed and i do it three times back to back to back to back have a break if you guys need it all we're trying to do is warm up the body loosen up the muscles especially in the back and the lower back just to allow us to have a bigger turn which will lead to speed basically so after i've done my five left five right three times I'll switch over to a speed stick so the one I use is from raw speed golf go over Instagram have a look at them but there's plenty of other ones you guys can use you've got super speed golf you've got raw speed golf you've got stack system you've got rip speed so wherever you guys are in the world you can get whichever one I know rip speed's big in America super speed golf big everywhere um, raw speed golf is obviously UK as well and I don't know where the rest of them are I'm sure there's plenty of different ones as well they all do come with their own program I don't follow the program personally because I don't need well, I feel some of the certain tips they give I'm not going to gain anything from it whereas you guys might so you can follow along with their program but all I'm going to show you in this video is how I do my speed training so with the raw speed speed stick you do have three interchangeable heads different weights you have 100 gram 150 gram and a 200 gram so you can work up you can work down however you want to do it but i tend to stick with 150 gram i like to feel it slightly lighter than my driver just so i can swing a little bit quicker so when i do go to my driver my body's warm and everything like that so what i'd usually do when i come to this i will obviously just set up into normal golf posture be nice and loose and i want to try and mimic the golf swing now when i'm using this so obviously when i'm using the heavy tempo trainer i don't really care about if my body turns my right foot comes up my right foot twists whatever it may be i'm only loosening my body but i feel it's beneficial to swing with speed in golf posture and in golf setup as well so you want to try and make everything exactly the same because there are certain protocols which do a happy gilmore swing but when you go to hit a golf ball you're stuck still you're static you're not doing all this happy gilmore stuff so i don't feel like i can translate that well into a golf swing but if you find that helps you absolutely carry on with it so what I would usually do with a speed session is, which I have said I don't do this very often, I should do it a little bit more just so it allows my body to keep swinging quick all the time. But 
again i'll swing five times right-handed and i'll swing as fast as i can i want to hear the swoosh at the bottom of every swing getting faster or maintaining the same speed i don't want to be getting slower it's only five swings so what we want to do is we want to give everything we've got for these five swings so it should look something like this and sound something like this and then set up again as if you're about to hit a shot I was a little bit slower. Right, so I'm breathing heavy again. The heart is racing. My body feels a lot warmer. So that is one benefit of speed training as well. It warms the body up, which allows us to explode when we do hit the driver. Because in my opinion, when we're hitting the driver, when we want to hit it as far as we can and swing as fast as we can, we don't want to be set over the ball, taking deep breaths, nice and calm, and then controlling everything because we're not going to be able to explode at the speed we want to explode so when we want to hit as far as we can when you see long drivers especially we'll be bouncing around we'll be breathing heavy our heart rate will be up because it allows us to explode quickly the analogy i use a lot of the time when i do a lot of long drive clinics and speed clinics at north wales golf i'll say to a lot of the guys when we do a little bit of speed training in there when you look at a 100 meter sprinter usain bolt whoever it may be Yes, for that five seconds, they're in the block waiting for the gun to go so they can shoot forward. They are calm, they're waiting. But before that, they would have been short, quick sprints, getting the heart rate elevated, ready. So when they do hear that gun, they can explode at maximum intent so they can run as quick as they can. It's a similar thing with a golf swing. We want the heart rate to be at a certain point. So when we do swing, we're not leaving anything on the table. So after we've done the five and after you've got your breath back, like I am struggling a little bit here, obviously because i'm layered up as well it's a little bit different but i'm warming myself up so i might be able to take some clothing off in a minute so i don't get too excited but we'll do the exact same thing but we'll do it left-handed again and then it's obviously when it comes to left hand swinging you're not going to swing it as fast you may be a little bit slow because you're not used to the movements but we'll swing five times left-handed now and i'll tell you why you should swing left-handed as well so we'll set up as it were and we'll go Right, so what is the purpose of swinging left-handed? You might be wondering. And before I go into telling you what the purpose of swinging left-handed is, do you think that left-handed swing is decent? And do you guys want to see me maybe play three, four, five holes left-handed? If you do, get down in the comments, comment left-handed. And if there's enough, I might do one of the matches against Chris and we'll both play left-handed and we'll see how good or how bad that is. So Chris, when you watch this, if these guys comment left-handed enough, we're having a match left-handed, so good luck to you. And um, obviously I'll need all the luck as well. So, so why do we swing left-handed? So the idea of swinging left-handed is because in a golf swing, we swing right-handed, we're always turning in one direction. So our body is used to coiling and turning in one direction. So when we're swinging left-handed, our body's not used to that moving into that direction. So you have a thing called accelerator muscles and decelerator muscles. So the accelerator muscles allows us to turn quickly. Decelerator muscles want us to slow down. So if we can train the decelerator muscles, which in our case is the left side, because we used to, as we turn through, our body's trying to slow us down. Because if it didn't, well, who knows how fast we'd be able to swing and stuff like that. It's just a natural thing. The body always wants to fight back against when we're doing something that's unnatural. Hence why they're called the decelerator muscles. They want to slow the body down. So. If we can train these decelerating muscles to fire quicker, to be stronger, as we swing right-handed, we will swing the golf club faster. So if we can train this side of our body just as much as our right, we're not going to train as much as the right because we're not playing golf left-handed. So if we can just add a couple of these sessions in a week, once, twice a week, just to allow that body to get used to twisting, when we go back to playing golf right-handed, you probably will feel stronger, your core will feel stronger because we're turning in a way the body's not used to. So that's the idea of swinging left-handed. It is tough. Make sure you stood a little bit further away from anything like a window, a door, a TV, wherever you guys do your speed training. Because when we all swing left-handed, we don't know what's going to happen. 
and you do not want a speed stick or a golf club flying and hitting a TV and costing us a lot of money just before Christmas. So I ain't taking blame if you guys crash anything or break anything. So after we've done that, and I will do that three times, five right, five left, and so on. And after we've done that three times, I'll only do one more exercise for my little speed training, which is, it's a step drill. So the idea of the step drill is so we can shift our weight to the right side and we can come back. So in the golf swing with a driver, as we swing, we do not want to be stuck on this left hand side. We want to be able to allow our bodies to swing to the right. And as we swing back, smash that left foot onto the ground so we can hit up on the driver and we can send bombs. So what I'll do with the step drill, there's different variants of it, but the one I like to do is I'll keep my feet nice and still. I will step back, I'll swing and I'll swing forward. You will see different drills. You'll see people stood together. They'll swing forward and they'll do it. But I prefer to do the opposite so I can feel my weight shifting to my right and then I can swing that way. I won't do this left-handed, it's just right-handed. So let's do that five times now. So set up, narrow stance, all feet together, whichever you find is comfortable. Step to the right, swing, and swing back. And there we have that. I'm blowing out my ass. It's not easy. Trying to hit the goal puff far is not easy. A lot of guys just see us, we're fairly big guys. I'm 6'2, 16 and a half stone, give or take, depending on how many McDonald's I've had, as I said in the last video. So they just assume because we're big guys, we hit it far. The long drive guys that do make a living out of doing long drive and swinging the club fast for a living. We do put a lot of effort into trying to gain speed and maintaining speed so we can make money and win events when we do. So that would be a rundown of my speed session. And that's basically just like a warm up before I hit golf balls. So every time I go and hit indoors at North Wales Golf, I'll do this beforehand to allow my body to swing and then I'll start hitting drivers. So after that, I may hit 150, 200 drivers at full speed because I like to hit golf balls in my speed session. I like to do this just to loosen the body up so it allows me to swing faster because you guys have probably done it. It's a cold winter's day, you've stood on the first tee, par five, you've got a driver in hand and you're probably swinging at 15 to 20 mile an hour slower. So what I wanna know guys is, do you guys do any sort of speed training? If you do, comment down below, let me know if you do speed training. Let me know what type of device you use to do your speed training. May it be the raw speed, the stack system, the rip speed, super speed golf whatever it is let me know and let me know as well when you did start your speed training how much did you gain from following their protocol of whichever manufacturer their item you may have been using so that's a little insight into my speed training it's not easy it's hard but if you guys want to hit it further it has to be done there are other ways to gain speed as well obviously in my case i do a lot of gym work heavy lifting and that does benefit the golf swing but obviously a lot of you guys can't get into the gym because we all have busy lives and stuff like that. So maybe doing this two, one, two, maybe even three times a week, is gonna allow the body to move faster to the limit where you can swing as fast as you can until you need to introduce gym training to take it to that next stage. So guys, that is a little rundown of how I do my swing speed training. I need to do it more. I don't do it as often as I should, but I'm gonna start doing it now that the winter's coming in, it's getting colder. I can't play much golf, so when I do get a day like this, I run out to the golf course to get a video filmed for you guys. So guys, if you want to be the guy that's knocking it 250, 260, 270, whatever you want to be knocking it down the middle, even if you're 10 yards right or left of the fairway, it's better being further down, closer to the hole, than it is being 200 yards in the middle of the fairway. Give it a try, add it into your routine. And as we started off the video, we were using the tempo trainer. If you guys haven't got a tempo trainer, you can use something just as similar as wrapping some duct tape around the head cover of your driver. So it's a little bit weighted just, and you can just do basic easy swings with that as well. So that is something you can take from this as well. So guys, just before we end this video, I think it'd be rude for me after doing a bit of a speed training, not to hit a bomb for you. So that's what we're going to do now. I'm on the tenth hole at Hollyhead Golf Club. It's a hole I would never hit a driver on because it's so narrow. 
because we've done some speed training, my body's nice and warm, I'm going to hit a rocket for you guys. So let's tee one up and smash one. Right, so the body's nice and warm. I do feel a little bit restricted because of my jackets, but it is what it is. And exactly the same as you were swinging earlier on with the speed stick. Because you've swung the same way with a speed stick as you would with a driver, you can just implement that speed straight into your driver swing. Woohoo! See you later. And guys, if you enjoyed the video, please like, subscribe, comment down below, hit the notification bell every time I do post a new video. You guys are notified straight away so you can watch. And I hope you guys add a bit of speed training into your routine so you can be stood on the tee hitting high, nasty bombs. So guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.